So as I continue to find more worms, you can imagine that I pretty much went ballistic. <laughs> Speaking of, I have my broccoli here, which I have harvested. I left it here because I understand that you'll get more crowns, which I am doing. More little side shoots. So let me go ahead and... I don't know if that's just going to be a... If that's you can technically call this a harvest. I guess if I eat it, you can call it a harvest. You can see that these are about to flower. I imagine they'll be as good as any broccoli, so I might eat those because they were really good when I tasted them. Yeah, that way these next heads will be baby heads rather will be ready. My tomatoes are beautiful. I'm still not seeing enough blushing to say that they're turning red is that one no no it's just a yellow leaf so i don't know that i've seen enough blushing to say that they're turning red whoa see what happened when i spun that around told you that's a those are heavy bunches of tomatoes too my cutie's tree it looks hungry or something I don't know what to feed it. I do have citrus feeder, but it's for a big tree. I don't want it to, I don't want to overdo it. They need some smaller citrus tree spikes. Talk to your fruit tree people and tell them, you know, for the people that are able to grow fruit in a, in a pot, you need some smaller stakes instead of for those big giant trees. Tell them that for me. Thanks. This is my Meyer lemon. I'm getting new growth on that. That's good. My apple tree looks dead as a doorknob. Quite disappointed in that. I ought to cut. It actually looks kind of brown inside. I don't know what to say. Longevity spinach is going crazy. It's way down now. But it's a big full bush of longevity spinach and I put some starts here so I planted new new lettuce in the planters Caesar got bitter it didn't bolt though but it got bitter here in my raised bed I have this long crazy spinach that won't just go ahead and seed and dry the hell out like die already die I'm going to go ahead and let it seed because I want to get seeds from it because look at it. Yeah, you can see the buds there at the stem and they're all fluffy and stuff. And I was like, make seeds already. Well, I don't because, you know, I don't know what to expect because I don't know what it looks like when it makes seeds. But I was like, make seeds already so we can end this all for everyone involved. And I think it has begun to do so when I look here. See these big balls? Big old balls. Yeah, I believe those are going to be seeds. And um, let me tell you, I needed to go ahead and do that because it is really, I'm not about that prairie look for my raised bed. It's not cute. My purple cabbage here is looking nice. My kale is beautiful, although I see the the occasional godforsaken cabbage worm. But all in all, they're beautiful. Got my red Caesar. I think I'll paint, I need, I need to find something that's uh, summer hardy for the middle that's green. I think I'll put some black seeded Simpson in there. Cause I have some more Caesar. Oh, I have, I'll put some more Caesar here, but it's not really appreciating the heat. You can tell by the yellowing that it's not appreciating the heat in general. Okay, already I see some fur in the yard that I don't appreciate. I don't know if it's bird or rabbit. It, it, it looks like bird maybe. Baby bird. Not too pleased with that. But anywho, um, after getting rain every day for a couple of weeks, everything's acting all dramatic like it's starving like it's parched and gonna 
die of thirst, but what else? Drop my coins. Here's my rhubarb. I don't think I need to come out and check it too much anymore. The neighbors are out, so I'm just going to zoom in. Take that snap. Here are my cucumbers. I don't see any cucumbers on just yet. Seems like I should, but yeah, plenty of flowers down there at the base, but no cucumbers. Um, my collards are coming along. Is that a okay? Thought I saw a little worm. I harvested some. I only have four plants, so harvesting a few leaves to make some wraps. Uh, purple cabbage. Birds having their little meeting. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Have your little meeting. Tell everybody this is not the deck to come to. Just for FYI, an update on that. Um, since I got my Smith & Wesson toy and uh, played with them a little bit, it took three targets, but I, we haven't seen a problem since the third one. I guess everyone has the, the information now that this is the wrong deck to set up a camp. You can see there's little to no bird crap on the deck. We used to come out here. I didn't draw attention to it, but we used to come out here and um, there would be bird poop lined all along the railings. So you know that they've been having a field day in my garden and on my deck. Well, since I hit my third target, there has been no issue. I'll leave that right there. Do with it what you will. I'm not playing with these critters around here. It looks really scarce in the middle. I guess because it is. But I put it. An, I put another row of those beautiful red. Uh, I don't remember now if they're Caesar or Romaine. I think they're Caesar. It could be Romaine. But anyway, they're beautiful. Look how red they are. Remember, I was fiending for some red leaf in my lettuce because I didn't have. I had all green bok choy and spinach and longevity spinach yeah bok choy and spinach and um this really fulfills my need for some red in my lettuce and it didn't have um any bitter tinge whatsoever it was very fresh not thick and crisp but just very fresh like a really thin iceberg it was dope it was man it was everything my kale is coming along it's actually ready for me to juice or either make some kale, cook some kale. Man, did that thing eat half of that leaf? Half of that leaf is gone. Okay, you about to get sprayed. Pause.